Well, guys and gals, we're a couple miles down the road from my house. We're going to go uh, down in the woods here, hike around a little bit, go for a little walk here today. Pretty day. It's around 50 degrees out. And we're going to go down in the woods and see if we can find anything interesting. So you guys hang in there and go with me. Okay, we're going to start down in the woods here. See what we can find today. Well, we got some, I guess, some of that chaga here. I don't know how good this would be, though. I don't know exactly what type of tree it's supposed to be on. Some kind of fungus there on it. I don't know exactly what. So we're going down the trail here. See what we come up with down here. We're going down here, some big pine trees and stuff. That's what we're headed to. People's got trails war everywhere now. Wildlife management area for hunting. But people's down in here hiking and camping and making trails and everything else. Haven't found any trash yet. Hopefully we don't. Some waterfalls over here. Some cool big rocks. Still got a little bit of snow down in there, nice. Big rock over here, I don't know, what do you think? That's 70, 80 feet tall, isn't it? Looks like. Well, we got on an old trail road, tram road like here. I'm gonna walk down here in the bottom with some Bunch of laurel down in here, everywhere. And a few big pine trees over here in the bottom there. And we're gonna walk on down, see what we can find down here amongst the pine trees here. You guys still behind me? You haven't got tired yet. Look at this big old tree right here. I showed that in one of my other videos one time. And uh, I don't know, but I was saying that the way them limbs are all broke off, I thought maybe it was Sasquatch come down here and cut them off for firewood. And I was looking around, see that big tree there? It looks like somebody sawed all them limbs off. I don't know what else had been in here. It had to be a Sasquatch. What do you guys think? Like I said, I had that in another video, but there was a lot of snow down in here then in that video. So you guys might want to check it out. Anyway, let's just keep going. There's a big old pine tree there. Pretty huge. A couple over there. And we got a bunch out here in front of us. We're going to walk down in here. I don't know how this camera's going to do for the what you guys are seeing, but it's real pretty down here and the sun's shining good, so... We might even see a deer or something. You never know. There's a deer in here. Down through this little... It's like a hallway down through here. Shaded area. I 
I see some tracks here. I don't know. You guys tell me that dog tracks, coyote tracks, I'm not sure. I haven't seen any deer tracks here. Nice little stream here going. Really pretty. Let's we'll see if we can not fall in here. Yeah, we're getting out of the shade here, back up in the sunshine. The suns are coming through the trees here, real nice and pretty. Warm. There's some big old pine trees here. There goes an airplane right over us. Big tall pine tree there. Well, we got our laurel bushes here. They're already starting to bloom out her bud there. See that? Won't be long. Spring's here, I guess. Got a whole row of little pine trees here. New life for coming. Well, here we come across a little holly bush. Got these little needles on there. You see them here. Don't want stuck with them. Well, we go down here and we're going out of the sun again. Let's do the brush here. There's a creek down here at the bottom. I can hear it running. This creek here goes through the mountain here for a mile or two, and it goes down to the uh, lake that you see on my videos that I go down and fish out of a lot. This water eventually gets to that lake down there, and it gets rougher down in there. This goes down in there, a bunch of water falls on down in there. and. Uh, But there's a bunch of these creeks like this that go to that lake from up here. This is just one of them. Old rock down in there. It goes up. And on top of it, there's some big pine trees there. There's a tree, the old woodpecker. He's been having fun here. He's been drilling all over this thing. I think he wore out a lot of drill bits. Maybe. I don't know what he's looking for in there. Maybe a bug in there, or spider or something maybe. I don't know. Oh, he dug a deep hole where? Look at that. We're still on a trail here, folks. There's a big old rock and a huge cliff up there behind it. 
you can see it there big bunch of rocks and they go clear out this way there's a big cliff we can't even get up we have to go on out the trail here a little ways but I think we're gonna go on down in the bottom toward the creek maybe see what we find down that way I've been down there before but it's been a long time well we made it down in the bottom here where this creek comes down this is the one I showed you earlier it goes down into the Cheat Lake I'm falling down in the water here it comes down over here get down under this old big rock or log here really pretty down through here ends up down Cheat Lake fall it down through there What do you think of that? Ain't that pretty? We go back in that rock here and hang out, hide under there. Well, look at that. Uh, let's see if we can get it here, but look at this rope, folks, on this big old rock over here. See that rock? The rope on it? Well, really, that's a, a vine growed there. Looks like a rope though. Goes clear to the top of it. Thought that'd be something you guys might want to see. Kind of cool looking. Oh, well, here we go, guys and gals. We found a, a natural shelter here, I think. I don't know here. We're gonna look in here and see what's in here. Big old rock up above. And it's open here on the bottom fairly flat we'd have to level it out some close this in then with some stuff what do you guys think think it would work for a shelter then down the other end here we could build a fire probably so the smoke didn't blow into the into it it's just like a I don't know, eight or ten by twelve rock on top of this big boulder here it goes up through that's back in under there I'm going to turn the camera off and show you the other end because I don't want to fall down this cliff here. Well, here we are on the other end, folks. You could level these rocks out or shove them, some of them off of here, maybe make a nice fireplace. And uh, even down here is another big rock that you could build in under. Heck, it might even be better because it's a lot leveler. If I can stand up to get there without falling down here, I ended up down to the river because it's down there half a mile below us. But uh, we can go back in under here and build a nice little cabin, maybe. A little place to hang out around this big rock here. It's deep down in here. What do you think, folks? Can we shelter back in there? Build a fire out here somewhere? Looks like it'd be a pretty good one to me. Then we go down here down this straight down down here about a half a mile to the river I don't know it's clear down way down in there I don't know if you can see it in the video at all it might be some a little spot there of water somewhere but the river's down there can't hear it from here though But anyway, I think this would make a nice shelter here. Big rocks here. You guys let me put in the comments there what you think. Well, here's a shaggy bark hickory tree. That'd make a good fire starter. But I gotta tell you though, we're on state property, which is illegal to camp down here or build fires. So we're not doing any of this. We're just talking about it, but we can't legally do any of that. But uh, now from right here, I think you can see the river down there maybe. A little bit of dark spot in between that real light tree there. Right down there is the river, but that's still a lot further off than it looks. Okay, folks, we're out here on this big rock. You can see, see clear across the valley. Over there on the other side, right there, if you look it up on 
Wikipedia or anything else is Cooper's Rock State Forest. That's the overlook for the Cheat Valley here. And uh, if you fall off of this rock, you're going to go down, looks like 80 or 90 feet. Then it goes on down from there, clear down to the river, half a mile down there. You can barely see it down that way in between these two big trees maybe there's water down there i don't know if you can see it or not but that's where the river's at way down there but we can look up the cheat valley here over toward brewston west virginia brewston mills this rock it's a big rock out here it's pretty huge And over here, there's a big crack you have to step across to get out on it. It drops down there 30 or 40 feet, probably, or more. Goes straight down in, then down this valley here, down in the woods. Then we go across this crack, and right out there is another one. You gotta step across that one and go back out to get to the road. Well, here we are back up on the main road. We've almost got back to the car. So uh, we've been down in the woods everywhere. Here right along the road, another holly tree growing here real pretty. You can see us in the shadows there. There's a pretty holly tree. I think there's another one on down in the woods there. But uh, there it is. Nice and green, getting ready for spring here. Alrighty, folks, we're going to call this an end, and you guys like, subscribe, share, and mostly subscribe, if you will, if you're going to watch the videos. Try to help me out a little bit if you can. We sure appreciate it. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.